Welcome back. Recently it was announced that the largest cast reunion of the beloved classic, A Christmas Story, is coming to Cleveland. And as you know, some iconic scenes were filmed right here 40 years ago, like the one where Ralphie visits Santa. I can't believe it's been 40 years. <laughs> well, that news, of course, sent our own Leon Bibb digging through archive tapes. That is probably a story in and of itself uh, to look back on that time when the Christmas season hung on just a little bit longer here in downtown Cleveland. It was a rare sight for a January. After all, the holiday season was over. But in downtown Cleveland, the holiday lights and tinsel were going up. It was as if January 1983 was in a time warp, going backward. They were not Santa's elves, but there was a frantic pace nonetheless of preparing for Christmas. The workers were not getting ready for the bright lights associated with Rudolph's brilliant nose. Instead, going into place were the bright lights of Hollywood. It was lights, camera, and wardrobe being pulled into place for 1983 Cleveland's cinematic step back to the 1940s. The stage was being set for what would become a hit, heart-touching tale in Cleveland. The city was ready for its close-up. I play Ralphie in this part, and um, it's called A Christmas Story. Are you a star? Well, I, I don't really know what a star is, because a lot of people ask me that, and I just don't really know to say yes or no. What do you think? I, I really don't, don't know. Yeah. What, what do you think? No, I think you're a star. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, they struck up the band. It brought its music to a swell. It was a grand opening. 1983 Cleveland put on its makeup, faced the camera, and knew its lines. The star, Peter Billingsley, the child actor, was in Cleveland for the movie premiere. Signing autographs once the film shooting had ended, Peter had become more comfortable with being a Hollywood star. You like acting? Mm -hmm. Do a lot. How do you? Now you're still of school age. How do you juggle school and working? Okay. Well, when we're in Phoenix, which is now my, which which is my home now, I have a full time tutor, and then he just gives me work to take with me when I'm on the road. Well, a lot can happen in 40 years. On film, Peter remains the kid, but in reality, he's all grown up now. Cleveland writing another chapter. Ralphie comes home. The cast, now mature, will soon reunite. Say, isn't that Scott Schwartz who played Flick in the movie? I walk in and I still see Higby's. You know, I walk in and I see the red carpet and I see all the countertops and I see uh, a Santa's Mountain. The old movie had everything going for it, just as it did years ago. It continues to draw in viewers. Even new ones who find a connection to a beloved classic with millions of fans. A Christmas story still resonates warmly. Maybe those cameras in Cleveland in 1983 captured more than just movie magic. It's the magic of people caring about each other and actually going through those adventures and those challenges and coming out as a family. A Christmas story had everything going for it. A wonderful story told in a heartwarming way. All of it centered around Christmas and the magic that we feel during that time of the year. Fold into the tale the point of view from a child's eyes. Now spoon in a bit of nostalgia. Wrap it all up in Cleveland, our town, with familiar sights wearing a holiday wardrobe for the camera. It has been 40 years since the film was made, but nostalgia of that time pulls us back into a Christmas story, as if it never left us. In many ways, Cleveland's starring role in the film never leaves us because our fond memories continually take us back, warming us. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb. And if you cannot get enough of A Christmas Story, you can go to our website, wkyc.com, and check out that interview that our 3 News crew did today in our studios with Peter Billingsley. Dave Tadowski did that. Yeah. It's quite cute. It was he, very fun. And he asked him some questions to clear up some rumors. Yes. Spoiler alert, he did not buy the house. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And no breaking news today, unfortunately. <laughs> and I couldn't help but think during the end of Leon's piece there, he could have narrated it. Now, Gene Shepard is the narrator for right. the movie, but 
you know, just some of the inflections and the excitement. Ah. Leon could have done that. Of course, Leon could read the dictionary and everything. That is listen. true. Dictionary, phone book, whatever he wants, <laughs> and, and it, it's all good. Just read it, baby. <laughs> read right. it. All right, let's.